Hello guys, welcome to feeding.net. So in this particular uh, session, we are going to talk about some common operations that we can perform on string. So let's start. So here I have uh, declared a variable str of type string. And here I put the name of the value of the string like date. Uh, like I we have dot like file name uh, data file. Uh, some kind of internal extension and we have the major extension like dot xml okay here at first i will going to calculate the length of the string then i'll try to get some value from the string uh, using the source string uh, method then i'll try to trim the space from left and uh, right side you can see from left we have space and right side we have space uh, then I'll try to split that particular string into an array using the dot separator. Then I'll try to find the number of element uh, in the array. Then I'll I will going to create a new string where I'll uh, try to split uh, that string into an array without any option. Then I will try with some options like remove entry and uh, remove. Uh, trim entries okay so let's start so here you can see the size is 29 it basically uh, consider each character even space as one so starting from that it calculates from here so it's total 29 uh, is the size so using the length method of string we can get this value now moving on to next okay so next requirement is like i i don't want to consider the first character which is space and i want a substring that start from index one so here i provide index one and you can see here you you, you don't find the left space here okay let's move to the next here i use the trim method of string trim method basically remove the space from left and right side this space and basically this space these two space will be removed but this space won't be uh, removed using this method as a stream only right and left see right and left removed but this particular space is still there now in the next i have split my string into n string array so let's see and using the separator dot so we have dot after this split into this and we can say we have uh, four element in the array and see the result let's move to next so it tells how many elements was there in the uh, array so basically the length of the array so i took the property of split array and put a dot length so it says four so now I have created a new string okay so so that we can check all option that we have under string split option so here at start I have not provided uh, uh, any uh, condition okay like I have not provided any string option so I split it by dot so let me check the result it separates into an array of length 6 okay it find first dot it split now you can see uh, let's move again okay d c and uh, these all it's okay right because we have the dot but for these two dot even if there is no space he has created a into this provided into one element okay without even it's it is string dot empty but still it take one space on the array so how to uh, basically not consider this so let's move to the next okay next uh, we have used split string option with property remove empty uh, entries it says split of split with option this uh, it will basically omit uh, any array that contain empty uh, string so basically uh, here in between it's basically string dot empty so its condition basically satisfied so if we see here we have six element in the array and if i do control f10 so 
so we can see we can only have five it basically not consider this uh, string dot empty into the array and last but not the least okay i tried using the trim and uh, trim entry it's a property of same string split option what it, it do it's basically trim any white spaces uh, if there are any in between okay so you can see there is a white space here okay uh, before 001 and uh, if I do this you can say this white space is there but uh, when I do this option trim entries it basically removes that white spaces here you can check so these all I mean operation is basically useful when we try to create any logic on string so guys if you like our video and uh, our, and our content uh, do subscribe our channel. Uh, thanks a lot.